Hi, welcome to The God Who Dances. Over these next eight weeks, you're going to be joining with over 200 other people in this online study. There was a 20th century philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, who famously said, God is dead. And then he went on to say, and we are his murderers. Nietzsche was commenting on the fact that in Western culture, it seems as though for most people, God has no practical bearing on their lives. But then Nietzsche went on to say this. He said, if they want me to believe in their God, they're going to have to sing me better songs because I can only believe in a God who dances. And the amazing thing about that statement, and, and perhaps even the tragically ironic thing about that statement, is that it was centuries earlier that the early church fathers talked about God as a God who dances. This idea that God is one and yet lives as Father, Son, and Spirit has been perplexing to our logical minds, because how could three be one and one three. And so the early church fathers talked about the Trinity as being a picture of a dance, an eternal divine dance of love and joy and delight. In many ways in the modern world, we have so intellectualized the concept of God that God is often not even attractive to those who claim to believe in him. And so over these next eight weeks, we are going to talk about the God who dances. And the beautiful, amazing reality is as, as it says in 2 Peter chapter 1, we are invited to be partakers of the divine nature. Not to just believe sets of statements about God, as important as that is, but to partake and to participate in the divine nature. And that's what we'll be doing over these next eight weeks as we study the God who dances. It's in these weeks that we'll be challenged to lay aside old conceptions of God and not just believe new things about him, but move to a place of participating in the divine nature, joining God, dancing with him. And so each Monday over these eight, next eight weeks, I'll be uh, publishing a study, which will include uh, text to read, as well as reflection questions, a spiritual exercise, and discussion questions for those who want to study this with others. Now, this isn't going to be easy. This isn't going to be light devotional reading, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. The challenge, the time will be worth it. So I want to encourage you to uh, submit questions, comments, so that we can make this an interactive study as we go. And let me just take a moment and pray for us as we begin this study together. Well, Father, as we begin this study of a God who dances, I pray that we indeed would participate in the divine nature, that we would learn what it means to dance with you, Father, Son, and Spirit. And Father, it's in the name of the Son and through the Spirit that I pray these things. Amen.